Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Brienne and today I have a reading vlog for City of Glass by Cassandra Clare, which is the third book in my rereading marathon of all of her Shadowhunter books. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so I um, am very excited about today because it is my first day of summer vacation before my senior year of high school um, and today I kind of just plan to read as much as possible of City of Glass. Um, I'm about 50 pages in and Simon's a daylighter, which happened in the last book. Um, he's in Alicante in Idris with Jace and Isabel and Alec and Clary created her own portal from New York to Lake Lynn. Um, fell in the lake, lost her stele, and got water in her mouth and that water is poisonous to shadowhunters, like makes them hallucinate, whatever. She's with Luke. Um, they're trying to walk to Alicante from where they are. Uh, so that she can get help and yeah, that's about it. That's all that's kind of happened so far in the book So I am now currently on page 150 in the city of glass and I spent the last half hour um doing like promotions for the newest video that I just uploaded and um yeah there's we met Sebastian there's been some Sebastian and Clary interaction and I'm kind of just excited to see like how it all comes together I liked the interactions we get with Simon and um Alder Tree, I think his name is, the new Inquisitor, um, because he comes off as nice and then he's just like crazy, like psycho crazy. And I really like his interactions because like it's a different kind of character that we don't really see because this Inquisitor is different than Herondale was. And I forgot that we go through so many Inquisitors before we get to Gia Penhowell. Like, why don't we just go to her first because she's a really good inquisitor but i might be able to finish this today if i keep reading um i feel like i could i might not i might just save half of it for tomorrow but i'm really liking it so far uh i forgot that simon actually does get locked up like i forgot a lot of what happened in this book other than like the big battle at the end and I don't know how I could have forgotten that but I did <laughs> so I am going to continue to read um I will update you guys later when I go to have lunch which should maybe be in 20 minutes to half an hour and I should be a little further in this because it's bigger than I thought it was. So it is now 440 and I am on chapter 10 so I am 220 pages into the book. I'm about halfway through it I think. Um, and wow I forgot that whole scene at the Wayland Manor was with Jason Clary. I always remembered it for some reason as Sebastian and Clary though it makes sense because they found the angel they gave them the memories um it still bugs me that they don't realize hey Jace isn't Jonathan Christopher like that's crazy like he's he's not Jonathan Christopher and uh Clary had spent the day with Sebastian and he kissed her and she got pulled away and her hands had like black stuff on it she's lived in the mortal world for so long she should realize that's hair dye like she got hair dye on her fingers from rubbing it through his hair 
because he's not doesn't actually have black hair he has blonde hair and he's dying it black um i love magnus acting as ragnar fell i always forget that he acts as ragnar fell even though we know ragnar actually is bad um, and then, what else? Um, I think that's about it. I mean, Clary finds out that Simon's in Alicante. Uh, there's that whole argument. He makes Clary feel like shit. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of, like, since they think they're siblings, there's a lot of, like, incest that should not be in this book like it shouldn't be but it is because they're not actually siblings but it's very intense um and i don't know i don't necessarily like clary and jace together as much as i thought i would and knowing that sebastian is actually clary's brother makes it really hard for me to look back and be like hey i thought they would make a good couple because now I'm like, they're siblings, and that would actually be really, really wrong. So, I'm going to probably read maybe another 100 or 200 pages tonight before I go to bed, so that I have maybe like 100 to 200 pages left tomorrow, um, so I can get some sleep tonight, because I am exhausted, um, and it not even six o'clock so i will read another 100 to 200 pages and i keep you guys updated um I'll probably get some food in in me and let you guys know because apparently alicante is on fire um yeah that doesn't happen very often so i don't remember how that happens but I know the loophole that um Valentine found to get demon blood into Alicante for taking down the demon towers is Sebastian because he's got demon blood in him but he's also got angel blood so he can go in and crazy stuff <laughs> but yeah I will update you guys here in a little bit so I'm currently on page 314 of the City of Glass, and I think I'm done for tonight. Um, it's taken some emotional toll on me that Max died. It's really sad, and I kind of just need a break from it tonight, so I have about 230 pages left of it for tomorrow. And I think I'll really enjoy just sitting down and reading the last 200-ish pages of the book. Because it's really good so far. So, I'll update you guys in the morning. Alrighty, so it is 4.50-ish the next day in the afternoon. And I have 61 pages left in this book. And I love it! Um, I forgot how much of Alec and Magnus we actually get in this book. And, um... How, like, badass Isabelle is. Like, I forgot why I liked her because I didn't like her in the past two books. But, like, this book, like, really brings back, like, oh, this is why I like her. Because um, I like her in the show, which is not the books. And then I like her in the books now again. <laughs> um, what else? Oh, Valentine's an idiot. Just saying. Uh, Clary is really smart, but she doesn't know how to fight. So she kind of needs to, like, speed that process up and, you know realize she needs the training even though like it takes a lot she just she needs the training because she's not doing well so far um jocelyn i didn't like jocelyn until the last book um because she doesn't show much faith in clary but clary knows what she's doing um simon this is like the book where i realized simon is my absolute favorite because he willingly receives the mark of Cain and goes to the vampires so that they are forced to fight with the shadow hunters and the other downworlders um but this way they can't kill him and they still have to honor their promise of fighting and he doesn't do it just for him and Clary he does it so that the new world that um Luke is trying to build and the new 
um, relationship and alliance he's trying to build with downworlders includes vampires because if they don't fight they don't really receive their spot on the council so now that they're getting a spot on the council and he's kind of just like done it for everyone except himself and like this way he does not die which I really like and I'm happy that it comes into play in the next book in this series which will be really good um but yeah I've got like 61 pages left in the book and I will update you guys when I'm done with my final thoughts. Alrighty, it is currently 6 o'clock and I just finished City of Glass. So it took me about an hour to read the last pages of this book and I absolutely loved it. I think this is actually the best rated book in the series personally for me. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars because all of the characters had such great development and growth and um, when it, this series was first written it started off as a trilogy and so looking at it in that aspect I think that it was a good book to like end the series but with it being more than just three books. I think it was a really good book to end the Valentine plotline and bring Sebastian more into focus as the villain in the next half of the series. Um, and I really like how everything works out for Clary and Jason. This book like is really sweet. I just, I didn't like Elaine in this book because she was kind of just no filter and was kind of mean when it comes to that, um, but no, this is a really good book, um, there was a lot of plot, there was a lot of action in it, and not just, like, solely focused on romance, um, as a whole, I really liked the development and introduction of the relationship between Luke and Jocelyn, um, because you don't really see that coming, because like they've known each other for so long and yet nobody's made a move so you wouldn't think that they would but they finally do um and at the end where the Seely Queen is asking Clary to have Meliard put on to the um console as the representative for the Seely Court I can see now uh reading the whole series why she would ask for that I'm glad Clary turns her down because it it's kind of bad that he would be on the council because he can lie because he's only half fae. You don't find that out until the very last book. Um, yeah, he's half fae. The fairy, the Seelie Queen is just not good. <laughs> She's not like, I think the Wicked Powers will be a really good series to tell us what finally happens with the Sea League Queen and all that because I know um that series is going to focus on Kit who's not in this book but uh, and how he's related to the Sea League Queen and the Unsea League King um I wish we got a little more explanation of like the Fae in this trilogy or like the series not trilogy but like this series because you don't really know much about them until like the very end like in this one you really only know that um iron hurts them and that they can't lie um and that's about it like that's all you know about them but to end off my final thoughts i really like this is a four out of five book four out of five stars in my opinion and i would definitely recommend reading this series even if it's just to get to this one Alrighty guys, that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and please don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know down in the comment section below what you thought of City of Glass or if you plan to read it or any books by Cassandra Clare.